Hello, I am Louis Crew, founder of Integrity, an international ministry of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered Anglicans. I am responding to Archbishop Rowan Williams in his YouTube video, Why the Covenant Matters. The Archbishop claims that the proposed Anglican Covenant will punish no one. Really? Why then have major promoters of the covenant already punished those that do not yield to bullies? Why did the archbishop betray his friend, Geoffrey John? Why was Jean Robinson, the Bishop of New Hampshire, not invited to Lambeth 2008? Why was the primate of the Episcopal Church, Catherine Jeffert Shorey, told not to wear her mitre when she preached at Southwark Cathedral? Why were the Episcopal Church members of the Anglican Consultative Council asked not to attend in Nottingham? And why, when the Executive Council complied and took away their voice and vote, did the bully bishops that remained at the table vote for themselves to have more power in their absence? The Archbishop talks about how important it is to listen to those who are isolated and cut off in the communion, all in the context of the proposed covenant. I agree. Why then did each of the seven lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered deputies um, to whom he gave audience at General Convention in 2009 have only a minute and a half. Compare that stinginess with the enormous amount of time he gives to any bully that roars against us. No punishments? We've had punishments galore from the people who wrote and pushed for the covenant, and we've not seen anything like the punishments that are, co are to come when the communion substitutes for the reconciling models of scripture, this license for enforcing conformity. Dr. Williams, we will all be judged by how we treat those we deem the least among us.